Malachi 3, 1 through 6. Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, and the messenger of the covenant in which you delight, behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? Sorry. For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi and refine them like gold and silver, and they will be bring offerings in righteousness to the Lord. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord as in the days of old and as in former years. Then I will draw near to you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, against those who swear falsely, against those who oppress the hired worker in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, against those who thrust aside the sojourner. And do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts, for I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. From the days of your fathers, you have turned aside from my statutes and... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. When we see God's greatness and holiness, our only hope to stand because, he, again, He doesn't change. Uh, but He has given us grace. He has met us where we are in Jesus Christ. So in light of that, we can worship without fear. So let's sing, Great Are You, Lord, as we continue to worship this great God. One, two. 